welcome. This is Melissa Arma with StockSwish.com, and I'm here today to review the final of the taser. I really wish I would have done this this morning out of the gate. Gosh darn it. You know, you know what the problem is? I didn't have any pre-market data until 10 after 9, and then I was rushing around like crazy. And then there is something to be said. Listen, I'm going to say something very important here. The more time that you have to garner and work up the conviction, the better you trade. And, and 20 minutes just isn't long enough for me to actually work on something and rank the gap and get the conviction when I'm scanning a thousand gaps in the morning. So I didn't do this. I called in the room, but I personally didn't do it immediately. And I wish that I had. And I'll tell you why. Let's go look. But I did do an afternoon trade in this and I did actually make money in it today, but the morning move was a drop. It's always the way. Okay. So right here, boom. Actually, this is crazy. But the stock dropped $2.40 from the original entry. It's nuts. But here, this was a good one. And then this was a good one here. And all of these worked and paid. And actually this, I really, I don't know the exact volume that was in there at that point. And it was a large stop, so I don't think I would have done that. But this was actually, actually here's another one. This had, this had a lot of entries in it now that I'm actually taking a look at this here today. This is a big miss for me today. In the morning, okay. But I will go over the afternoon. So I actually ended up shorting this. I liked it. I had really good size in it. 77 was my price. And originally I had the stop at 21.10. Then I moved it tighter over 21. Either way, it tried to break 50. It tried to break 50. I thought it would break the low. Target was $20, 20 $20.25 or $20. I was in this waiting, 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 waiting. I was up in it. And then I had to take it. It just couldn't break the 50 number. Let's go look at it. Where was that problem? Because it, it really was a problem because it never broke it. So I ended up getting out of this and killing it with profit in the afternoon because it never broke 50. But I wanted so much for it to go to $20 because I had 8,000 shares of it with a price of 77. And actually, I didn't look because I didn't want to jinx myself. It didn't matter. How much would I have made at 77, 77 cents times 8,000? Let me just figure that out. I would have made 6160. I would have made $6,160 if it had gone to $20 today at the price I had with the share size. But as it turns out, it, it didn't break 50. And when it did break 50, I just took it off. So I ended up making money in this today then, but the best move was the morning. And I just got such a late start today that I didn't grab it out of the gate. But here's your see where it came in, bounced. Where is that 50 though? There it is, you stinker. Yeah, that's what it really had a problem with breaking. No, wait a minute, here, it's 2050. Well, it did this morning. It did this morning, and it's gonna. I, this really struggled with this level today, and I don't know why. I will tell you, the market was very bullish all day today. I'm gonna do a market video next, but it, the market was extremely bullish. The, for the weakness that this chart showed all day, all day, was amazing. But I have no idea why this didn't go back, back down and break the low and go to $20, or even back down in the low of the day. I don't see anything here that's a problem. It's definitely going to break it again. This is this is even a swing trade here. Hmm. Anyways, to make a long story short, I did a late trade in this, wanting to make money, and it worked for profit, 
but did not continue and go to the target and I had to kill it once it did not break the 2050 area that I struggled with. And I was trying to find then what was the situation with that. And really, there's no explanation. Here, right in here, when it didn't break, it didn't break, it didn't break, it didn't break it, I had to get out. So it was a nice morning move. And golden gaps work typically in the morning, right away he's out of the gate. I was unprepared for this today, but it fell off a planet. High of the day in this was 23, low is 2025. An amazing move, almost $3 in this stock at a $23 price point. It was great. I did not get the first trade in this. I wish that I had. I did do a later trade in this that moved. It was wild, but I made money in it, so I'm not going to complain. At the end of the day, this was a good gap today, a gap that I rated that met the criteria that you could have shorted, and it worked. This is Melissa Arm with thestockswish.com. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.